Hi everyone, welcome to this Rick and Payroll help video. Today, we'll be going over how you can edit an existing payrun that you've already created in Rick and Payroll. At times, you may find yourself having to make a correction or amendment to a payrun that you've previously created if you've made a mistake and need to put things right. Let's get started. In this example, you'll see that I have a payrun that I've previously created and sent this information via STP to the ATO. There are three employees in the payrun with various earnings, tax, and super pay to them respectively. However, I've realized I've made a mistake on two of these employees' balances in the payrun, and therefore I need to correct them. To do that, click on the Options button in the top right corner and select the option to switch the payrun back to draft. By selecting this option, you are reverting this payrun that has previously been marked as paid back to draft status which will allow you to make changes to it. Any changes you make will also need to be sent to the ATO as an update event which we'll cover shortly. The payrun is now back in draft status as you'll see on the top. Now to make amendments to any payrun information, tap on the edit button on the respective employee. In this example, I've entered a base rate of $100 per hour for my employee Edward, which I know is a mistake, and instead it should be $50. I'll go ahead and edit the earnings item to the correct amount. My tax and super guarantee balances have automatically updated as well based on the change in earnings. I don't need to make any further changes to this employee's pay run info, so I'll tap done. I need to make another amendment to a different employee in this pay run, so I'll do the same thing as before and tap on edit on the respective employee. In this case, the earnings, tax and super are all correct, but I forgot to add the leave this employee took in this pay run cycle. I'll go ahead and add that now. Now that I'm finished with my amendments to the payrun information, I'll tap on Mark as Paid so that the payrun will update from Draft to Paid status again. Next, I need to resubmit this payrun to the ATO via STP submission so that the changes I've made are recorded on their end. To do that, click the Options button again and select Resubmit to ATO. You'll see that the Submit as an Adjustment option is ticked. This is important as it marks this submission as an adjustment to a previously sent submission. This is also known as an update event. Acknowledge and complete the declaration and then click on the Submit to ATO button. That's it, the existing payrun has been successfully adjusted and the update event sent to the ATO. The year-to-date summary in the employee profile will update accordingly to reflect the changes you've made. Thanks so much for watching. For more Reckon Payroll help videos, check out our playlist linked in the description. And for more help and support, visit us at help.reckon.com or join our community at community.reckon.com.